Hello everybody, it is Monday the 22nd of March. Dane reads. It is 7 p.m. I've been hard at work all day, but I did my walk earlier. I also went to Sainsbury's for a posh shop. Basically, Sainsbury's is a slightly upmarket place. It's like instead of going to Walmart, going to Whole Foods. So I went to Whole Foods today um, because I got paid for uh, a project through via the art center representing um, basically when we applied for some funding a while back part of that funding was to pay staff wages and so i got paid which was nice so i now think i have enough just about to buy a house i got an agreement in principle today um, which is what you need basically to start the wheels moving it's basically a bank saying yes we'll give you a mortgage um, but it's very close as to whether they'll give me a mortgage or not. And um, part of it's like, because it's partly based on income over the last few years and obviously pandemic and stuff. So I don't know, we'll see anyway, but my dad's an accountant, so I'm gonna email my dad and be like, please, can you help me? Uh, in terms of reading, I finished reading Galapagos. This was like 3.5, pretty strong 3.5 out of five. Um, then I finished reading as well, uh, The Discworld Companion, Terry Pratchett and Stephen Briggs. This was a bedtime book, probably a three out of five to be honest, but um, I'm glad I finally ticked it off. So I think I've said this in a few vlogs recently. Um, it's basically like a dictionary of entries about the Discworld, which is fine, but it's kind of dull to read a dictionary, you know? So, so uh, anyway, I finally got to the end of all of the uh, dictionary definitions in it, and then the end was just a few, it was like an interview with Terry Pratchett and a few other bits. So I just read those uh, in the daytime. So that was fun. Uh, then I read The Winter's Tale by William Shakespeare. This is the beautiful Folio Society edition. Uh, I'm not gonna take it all the way out because it'd be a pain. But yes, pretty funny play, a 3.5 out of five. Um, the intro was very interesting as well because they were saying like, the bulk of the play actually takes place in like the second act or whatever between these two young lovers but most people like to be the people who are only in it towards the start and the end and uh, so this causes problems with like who the starring actors are like traditionally the young lovers are like up and comers um, so the starring actors almost have like walk-on roles but yeah there was some great stuff including the, the fantastic line uh, exit pursued by a bear and I'm now reading The Green Brain by Frank Herbert. Um, and I must admit, I'm only like 30 pages in. So um, I can't really tell you too much about it. Even reading the blurb here, I'm like, does this happen? None of this has happened yet. Yeah, it's just a stranger in a small town. I'll read you the blurb, why not? It began when a stranger walked into the small town. A man whose face was always in shadows, always turned away from an inquiring gaze. A face that seemed to shimmer and change. A face of multifaceted iridescence. Nobody in the town took much notice of the stranger with his odd fluid walk. People minded their own business until... Until the power that held the figure together began to weaken its impossible hold. And the strange man began to lose his shape. Began to split into an infinity of parts. Multiple award winner Frank Herbert, author of the classic science fiction novel Dune, has constructed a story of unique terror. There are no evil aliens, the enemy is of Earth. A tiny enemy, easily destroyed by the flick of a finger when isolated. But when it combines, no power can stand against it. Dun dun dun! Dinner is almost ready. We have some crispy kale. Always gotta have some crispy kale. Kettle's currently boiling. Well, that's going mad. Sorry, epileptics. Uh, that's gonna become some gravy. Over here we have some asparagus. I'm just heating this up. That's almost ready now. And then in here I've made a pie. Look at my pie. And we're doing some fries. So I'm gonna go and have a go at that. All right, the pie is out of the oven. I still have to try and get it out of the pan, but look at that. And then here are the fries. And then there is the uh, asparagus. And for some reason my heat has just kicked in as though it's not hot enough in here already. I'd like to flip it because I did the design on the other side. Oh, true. oh that's that's looking good though. Okay, show the world my pie. Oh, that is massive. My pie! Oh I'm so good at pie. <laughs> 3.141592653589793338462643382799502884 Please. Being pirates. Satisfying that. Okay, a wedge like that for you, yeah? Oh my god, okay. Yeah? I'm gonna leave Pac-Man pie. Right, okay. Now how do I transfer this without dying? 
sort of like knife underneath. Oh, that worked so well. It wasn't quite the angle I was going for, I'm not gonna lie, but Oh but that That's is the, that's the money shot that. Yeah, I need some photos. Proud of yourself? Yeah. Well I don't know, I haven't eaten it yet, have I? <laughs> You're happy, Susie? Very happy. I can't wait to eat this. Tuck on in. Hello, it is currently 10 to midnight on Friday the 26th of March. I haven't updated you guys for a while, so I'm sorry. It's been a busy week. I've mostly been just working loads of overtime, to be honest. I actually just checked my stats and I've, I mean, it's Friday night and I've worked seven days this week. So I think that's, you know, impressive. Not good, really, because I should have a break, but I'm trying to save up for a new house, so there's all that. Uh, seen Susie this week, so I hopefully got some footage in of um, some of the cooking I did. I made a pie, and earlier today, actually, I made like a superfood um, pasta, basically whole food, plant, whole wheat, whole food, plant-based diet. Um, so I'm trying to be a little bit healthier, so even like my snacks, I've got some dried apricots, I've got some nuts. I'm gonna try and make some nut milk tomorrow. Um, this is actually kind of partly because of my anxiety. Uh, I mean, I also have IBS, which is linked with the anxiety, and theoretically eating better should be better for my stomach and my digestive system as a whole. Um, but also I've been reading How Not To Die by Dr. Michael Greger, that's my bedtime book, and it's currently very interesting, very good. Um, and so I'm learning all the tips of how not to diet, which is basically to eat whole food plant-based and avoid animal products. So it's basically the current diet that I have, except um, there are some things I can do, like certain herbs work better than others, for example, for whether you want antioxidants, all this shit. Lots of nutritional stuff, basically. So I'm like learning little hacks that I can put into place. Um, so that's good, but also like less vegan junk food, although I did buy some Ben & Jerry's. <laughs> So I've also been listening to a lot of vinyls. I've uh, today I've been watching a YouTuber called Scribe uh, play. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm thinking about my body language here. Why am I folding my arms? I don't know. Apparently, it means I'm uncomfortable. I guess. Um, yeah, I watched a YouTuber called Scribe um, play Silent Hill three. So for some reason on their channel they actually played them in the order one, three, two but I've watched them in the order one, two, three. So that's been quite good because I never played those games. So it's been interesting to get like a closer insight into what those are all about. And I have a ton of books, like seriously, this, this is what we got. So I don't remember whether I told you, but I finished reading The Green Brain by Frank Herbert. I think I gave that a three out of five. Uh, I read Steppenwolf by Herman Hesse, or Herman Hess, no, Herman Hesse, I think. Uh, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this was a strong 4.5 out of 5 and one of my top books of the quarter and that video will be coming soon by the way, uh, early April for that. And uh, yeah, translated from German, it's basically about a middle-aged uh, misanthrope. Uh, I, I said, I think in my Goodreads review, that it's like Catcher in the Rye for disillusioned people in their 30s and 40s. Um, which I guess I am. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, very beautifully written. It's like described as yeah, a poetical novel and you can definitely sense that. Uh, then we have Terry Pratchett, The Wit and Wisdom of the Discworld. I'm gonna surprise you here and give this a three out of five. Basically, this was compiled by Stephen Briggs, who is one of Pratchett's like long-term collaborators and stuff. But he basically just read through the books and just picked out some of his highlights from it. But reading this is kind of spoiler territory if you haven't read all of the Discworld books. So it kind of was just like reading a Sparknotes summary of the Discworld. So I don't really know why it, why it exists, to be honest. But um, yeah, I mean, it was all right. And then I've been reading some Shakespeare. So what have we got here? The Two Gentlemen of Verona. This was cracking. Um, I mean, obviously it is one of his more well-known plays, but there were lots of lines of dialogue and stuff that, you know, um, how like Shakespeare coined so many expressions and stuff. It's fun to see them like out in the wild. So that was cool. Um, and then I read King John, which was pretty dull. Um, that was about wars, the English, the French and the Spanish and the interplay. Uh, I did like some of the French stuff though, but yeah, that was like a, so the two gentlemen of Rona, four out of five, King John, 3.5 out of five, and then Timon of Athens, which is another four out of five. And this is uh, a play, <laughs> I guess it epitomizes that like n never a lender nor a borrower be kind of thing. Uh, it's a play about somebody who borrows some money, basically. Um, that really undersells it. It was, I think it's really well written and um, 
One of the ones that stood out to me as being one of Shakespeare's lesser known plays that's like up there with the quality of the greats, you know? So um, probably, I, I would say Timon and uh, Verona, both of those, I enjoyed those a lot. And King John, eh, just ticking them off. Uh, and you can see these are the Folio Society editions as well. Um, I would open them up and show you, but I can't really be bothered, to be honest. But they all have uh, illustrations and stuff and they're very beautifully laid out. Yeah, see, look, this is the problem. Oh well. So uh, that's where we're at, where we're at. As I say, it's like now five to midnight, so I need to not be filming really. But I wanted to film a quick vlog update and I'm gonna go and do some editing in a minute as well. Hello people, it is eight o'clock on Sunday the 28th of March. Uh, oh God, well over the last few days, I've not been very well. I've had like lots of stomach stuff going on for the last few days, which has been setting my anxiety off. And when my anxiety hasn't been going, I've been pretty depressed. So I would say I'm on the depressed side of things now. My stomach has stopped hurting for a little bit, which is nice. Camera's gone out of focus. Don't know why that is. Now it's back in focus. Didn't do anything. I'm trying to sh trying to focus on my shoulder. Uh, right. What happened? Well, sort of. Last few days I've been super busy working and stuff. Just working as much as I can, trying to sleep when I can. I've also been having this thing when I've been sleeping, which is like a new thing. Uh, which I think is related to my death anxiety basically, but I'll be lying in bed and I'll mostly be asleep and then suddenly my like brain will be like, oh shit mate, you're dying. And it's like, no, you're just falling asleep. Oh, come here Biggie, let me grab you. <laughs> Luckily I've had lots of cuddles with this man to keep me going. Mwah, haven't I Biggie? You've been looking after daddy. Yes you have. And in return, Daddy got you the food you didn't like, didn't he? So we need to go and get you some Sheba. All right, let's put you down. What? He's looking very glossy. I think his, his summer coat's coming in. Uh, Reading-wise, I've not been reading anything particularly interesting. I finished reading Cup of Gold by John Steinbeck. This is about Henry Morgan, the pirate. So it's historical fiction from Steinbeck, which is kind of interesting. Gave it like a 3.5 out of 5. I did make some tabs to do a review. Uh, and then I've been reading my Folio Society Shakespeare, so I've finished reading King Henry the Fourth, Part One, because that's the only part I have. And now I'm reading Henry the Fifth. I also have Henry the Sixth, Parts One and Two, in a, a, a like a dual slipcase, and it turns out that's a three-parter. So I don't even know what's going on. But yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, I've got a call with the client later, which I guess will be fine. I'll just go through it, and then I can hopefully go to bed. Although, like I say, the sleep's been messed up. I got four hours last night. Um, I don't know. I haven't. I don't really know when I last slept for more than four hours. Probably early last week. Um, I mean, I was in bed from half nine ten ish till nine ten ish. It's just I only slept for four hours at that time. The rest of the time I was either lying awake or reading How Not to Die by Dr. Michael Greger. Uh, this is another interesting thing, because I've been reading that because it's all about like eating whole food plant-based. And uh, I've only really been ill since I started eating whole food plant-based. So when I was eating just vegan junk food, I seemed to be all right. So I don't know whether my body's just like not used to it all. But it's horrible because I've got this like weird feeling going on in my head, quite dizzy, fell over earlier, uh, which wasn't good. And I keep forgetting what I'm doing in the middle of doing things and stuff, which is, uh, it's, it's not good. But uh, I am aware that quite often my vlogs are just me complaining, but it's because I'm quite an ill person. <laughs> so, and it's, I don't know, it's really annoying now because it's like, well, I don't drink alcohol anymore. I don't smoke. Um, like I exercise, I eat healthily. Don't drink too much caffeine. I have like a couple of coffees a day. So I don't. There's not. This is the problem that I'm kind of faced with now, where it's like, but I still feel shit all the time, and there's nothing really more I can work on. I could try and work on my sleep, but like I try and go to bed at a normal time, and like so, for example, tonight, if I go to bed at 10 p.m. tonight, even though I only had four hours of sleep last night, I probably won't fall asleep till 2, 3 a.m., and then I'll wake up again at like eight. <laughs> so I don't know how much I can do, but hey ho, that's that. Uh, I've got some F. Scott Fitzgerald up to read next. And I guess this is the end of another weekly reading vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching me complain about stuff. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video for whatever bizarre reason. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.